Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have the FIFA 20 Tottenham career mode. Uh, I did say in previous videos I might do a Forest Green career mode, but I am doing a Tottenham career mode because it is the team that I support and this channel is mainly based around Tottenham. If you are new, then subscribe to the channel. If you're a Tottenham fan, a general FIFA fan, or a general football fan, we have uh, prediction videos coming out for the Premier League tomorrow. Tottenham vs Southampton preview coming out tomorrow. On the weekend, we have Champions League predictions, match day two fixtures, and a Bayern Munich preview. Next week, we'll have a Bayern Munich vlog because I'm going to the game, and yesterday there was Carabao Cup videos that went out. I haven't played FIFA 20 yet. I've played the demo, but not this actual game. I had a video yesterday with the pro club stuff and the ultimate team stuff. I haven't actually played the game. This is the first time I've been playing the game. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Right, so I've done the manager. They're just going to say, no way is this meant to resemble who I am. Um, I've just customised, really. Um, but yeah, we're going to Spurs. We've got a decent budget, actually. I suppose the board expectations are similar. Uh, I am going to play on world class. Uh, that's what I'm going to play on. Last year I played on world class, this year I played on world class, five minutes half. I'm going to disable the transfer window because I want to keep the same team. European competitions, is that the group that we need? Is it in order? Okay, that's last year's groups. Right, so the groups have been done. Um, all the teams are in order in the other groups apart from ours because I think with this I play the teams in order. Um, Red Star Belgrade aren't in the game so I put the young boys in. The young boys are the team that Red Star Belgrade defeated to get to the group stage. Um, and CSK I've put in instead of Zenit because they're both from Russia and Zenit are not in FIFA for whatever reason so CSK are in Group G. The new boss lacks experience. We'll see about that. So I've seen a couple of career mode videos uh, so I know what this is and I also know that with the boots if you change them it glitches out rain and if you don't manually select the team you're playing against then it uh, put a weaker team out if you're playing Man City so that's something you have to do. Uh, let's go for the Saudi Arabia tournament. Notifications are down here now, that's quite handy, I didn't really notice that. 180 million, so it's going to be hard not signing any players yet anyway. Um, I know all the objectives. Player chat as well, no conversations yet. So I've done the team now, um, and I've done this formation because on the demo it's a formation I enjoyed using, um, and I have given the captain's armband to Harry Kane, um, because I I do like the Reese, but I just think Kane should be captain. Um, I've gone with this three midfield, Ericsson's still there, Dele in the middle, and uh, this on the bench. I've adjusted all the roles and the tactics, um, we're going to be playing quite fast on the offence and balance on the defence. And then the instructions, I've sorted everybody out really to how I want them to be. The youth system I'm not really going to use, um, I know it's a main target but I'm not really going to use it because we sort of buy youth and we have quite a lot of youth already so I'm not going to use it. So these are our main objectives, uh, we have to reach the final of the Champions League, win the FA Cup and finish in the top four in the Premier League which is uh, I think all of them are doable, Champions League one maybe not so much, uh, I would like to go a step further than last year, um, youth development I don't care. We have a message from Harry Kane, yep. Excited about the future. Uh, I'm going to skim through these preseason games. I'm going to play them not with a face cam. I will do a voiceover for them. So, uh, yeah, anything that does happen, I will use the face cam. But let's go into these. This is going to be my second team. Uh, you can see Sanchez on the bench. Don't like him anymore. You can fuck off. Um, so, Sassy will be playing left back for the second team. But, yeah, let's gonna, I'm going to play these games. Anything that does happen uh, that I like, I'll use my face. But this will be voiceovered. So, uh, I'll see you after these games. So, I'm just going to go and play this game against Lazio. And,. Uh, I've noticed we don't have our third kit. So I don't know what's going on there. But it's fucked me off. I'm still going to carry on, but it has fucked me off. And I hope the patch comes out soon, and hopefully it carries on with career mode the way it does with the kits. Hopefully. So it's this first game against Lazio over here. Um, I'm in the blue kit because of the kit situation. It's just the best one there. Um, and we have a nice chance here with Deli Ali feeding it through to Kane and the defender gets a good header in and the resulting corner did end up in nothing. Um, now 20th minute, Eriksen edge of the box, shoots and it hits the post. Uh, would have been a good goal for my first goal in FIFA 20. Now a free kick, passing it to Alderweireld, holds it up, the defender didn't really come to me, I don't know what happened there. Eriksen, another long shot but the keeper 
gets his hand and now Lazio on the break here in the second half Immobile down the wing intercepted by the Tongan clearing it in the race I don't know what I was doing there to be fair um, I was lucky not to concede now 85th minute I've brought some subs uh, seven changes Mora using his pace getting down the wing coming inside across and nobody's there to get on the end of the cross now Winks on uh, giving it to Danny Rose, Danny Rose into La Celso and La Celso scores in the 89th minute to give us our first win playing FIFA 20 um, I'm going to be milking this Deli Alley celebration to be fair so you're going to see it a lot um, but that would be the end of the game um, my man of the match for the game I'm going to go with Ericsson he played fantastic through the game man of the matches is something I'm going to be doing throughout the series if it carries on um, but into this next game against Al Ali I did rotate and put my second team out Sessi Young just firing one over the post there over the crossbar I should say um, and Sessi Young again edge of the box doing a couple of step overs inside and straight at the keeper and he couldn't get the rebound in uh, we was all over them to be fair um, I did find it a bit tougher uh, but here we have a lovely ball over the top from Ben Davies into Sessi Young and uh, yeah, this was a fantastic goal. Lovely low driven cross into Lucas Moura. Uh, and that is a brilliant goal. Um, the ball graphics, everything, the gameplay feels amazing. Um, but out alley, they did come back. Um, sloppy defending here from me. And they put it past Gazelinger in the end in the 30th minute. Um, I don't know what I was doing to be fair. Um, but we did come back we didn't sit back uh, setting on the ball again turns shoots straight at the keeper though and we couldn't get on the rebound in the corner didn't result in anything but another bit of sloppy defending um, and it led to their second goal um, it was all to play for still 60th minute um, but sloppy defending there with the second team again uh, as you can see I'll give the ball away and then I'll just cut open in half with my two centre backs and it led to the goal. It's Soko actually that had the sloppy defender. And here we have Lamella passing out to Lucas Mora. Can he do anything with it? Going down, driving inside. But he shoots right straight at the keeper. To be fair, I should have squared that looking back at it now. Um, now out Ali again, a bit of sloppy defender again. They're on the break, but he goes straight at Gazaniga this time. Um, now they're, they're, they're back again and fourth with a tackle and yeah you can probably tell that's going to be a red card he was the last man that's from behind um, and that would just spell disaster really at the end of the game you can see it's going to be a red card by the animation you can play it all you want but it's a red card fourth was sent off and uh, he would miss the rest of pre-season pretty much but that would be the end of the game man of the match for that game I'm going to go with Ryan Sessignon because he felt amazing and played amazing got the assist for our goal um, but into our next game against Roma now um, they had a nice chance here saved by Lloris in the 13th minute um, both teams didn't have their third kits because they got released quite late uh, but Lucas Moura down the right hand side here pulls it back to Endombele shoots and straight to the keeper but Kane is there to put it into the back of the net in the 17th minute. Captain Kane, because as you know, he's my captain now. Um, but Roma didn't hold back. They came back and it was saved by Larice here. And I, I I came out with Alderweireld and tried to do that thing that it pay off, but it didn't. Roma, pretty much easy to score and they didn't. Um, good defending by me, if I say so myself. The defending is more manual and I like that. I'll, I'll, think I'm decent at defending, I must say. Mora down in the right side, shoots, scores again. These ball graphics and the shooting graphics, everything's good I think, apart from the free kicks and the fact that there's no kits and the patch. Apparently they don't know when the patch is going to come out, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but Lamella down here on the right hand side into Lucas Mora and a lovely volley um, putting us 3-0 up against Roma. Uh, so you can't beat Al Ali, but you can beat Roma. Fantastic goal. Um, I did say I'd make the celebration, but they, they didn't hold back Roma. They came back. Sengis under it came through and uh, passed it to Collie, but Collie couldn't find the back of the net with that. We did come back and try to get a fourth goal. Lucas, I tried getting him his hat trick here. Um, will it pay off? No, puts it wide. Lovely bit of skill to come inside the. Well, me. I'm not happy with that because I'm the manager. Um, and yeah, they, they, they didn't get anything from this. 
it was headed away nicely. Well, it was put over the bar, so it wasn't headed away nicely, but that would be the end of the game. A nice, comfortable 3 0 win to assist through into the next round of preseason. Man of the match for that has to be Lucas Moura, agreeing with the game for once. Um, so, down to the semi finals, we're playing against Bayer Leverkusen's, Bayer Leverkusen, Huming Sun's old team, and as you just saw, Huming Sun did score, and I went for Gamble and done the show of respect celebration because it was his old team and that's something FIFA actually pointed that to me and not something I realised which is good uh, but we're here with Sessignon down the left hand side coming inside laying it off to Deli Alley shoots just past the post um, I want to change his sleeves because he plays with long sleeves it's peed me off a bit Paulinho here down the right hand side into Leon Bailey who tries an overhead kick Leon Bailey is a quality player uh, he was brilliant last year Walker Peters here with Deli Alley. Deli Alley shoots and it hits the crossbar, I think, or the keeper saved it. The keeper saved it, I couldn't see from here. Uh, but Diaby down the left hand side there by Leverkusen gave me a game and he just fires it past the post. But the goalkeeper graphic and the ball graphic there was fantastic. But over the ball here, over the top ball for Sun, shoots and a great save by Lom or Lam, whatever you want to say. Um, now Deli Alley and it, yeah, I just saw the boot, I saw the ball going through there into Sun and I knew it was going in. Um, I forgot to do the show of respect celebration, so uh, you can guess what one is coming out. Um, but a fantastic goal, great game for King Ming Son um, against his former team by Leverkusen. And I did eventually give King Ming Son the man of the match for this game. Now into the final of the Saudi Arabian Cup against Napoli. Um, and it was a great game, fantastic game. They're here with Insignia. Uh, a shot deflected and it got put into the back of the net by Allen and that was 1-0 to Napoli. I've been playing quite good on this game, I didn't want to lose this um, but I did go with a sweaty goal, a bit of a sloppy goal really. Uh, straight from kickoff really, um, Lucas Moura down the right hand side into Hummings on Ericsson's face, looks really fat on this game. Uh, but they didn't sit back, they replied. 35th minute and it was 2-1 to Napoli, Dries Mertens firing past Hugo Lloris giving them the lead again um, it's sloppy defending again from it I have rotated the formation with this but we did come back the Celso putting it past the former Arsenal goalkeeper Ospina um, the Celso feels fantastic and uh, yeah this was a fantastic game really thinking about it Shimming Son down the left hand side just after the break crossing it in into the Celso and he puts it just over the bar um, on the right foot, he's left footed, as you know, and now we made a couple of subs, I tried to restrict myself from all seven, uh, but the Celso, on the left foot, he doesn't miss, he feels fantastic, his face looks pretty accurate, it's a shame he's injured at the moment, because I was a bit iffy about to sign him, um, I haven't actually checked if he's on loan on the game, but Napoli didn't sit back, we had Unes down the left hand side, into Insigne, saved by Lloris, but he spilled it, and it was put into the back of the net by Dries Mertens I believe um, but we didn't sit back we were here with Deli Alley a uh, lovely ball roll inside and a fantastic shot to put us 4-3 up in the cup final uh, you can't beat winning the Audi Cup though I'm sorry and uh, Deli Alley doing the Deli Alley celebration uh, we did try and get some more here Kane fantastic save by Ospina um, and that wasn't the end no it wasn't the end uh, we had a lovely shot here with Kane Flicked over, went for the cheeky shot, and another fantastic save by Ospina. But that would be the end of the game, really. I just held out with this corner because this is me. I like to see them goals in big, not big games, but we did go on to win the Saudi Arabian trophy. And I hope to build on that a bit more than what we did last night against Colchester. So, uh, yeah, we did win the cup, and it was a successful pre season. I felt good. The man of the match for there. That game is Giovanni Lo Celso. Right, so this might be a bit dark. It's been about two to three hours since I last filmed a clip. Um, but yeah, you've just seen the highlights on the preseason tournament, um, and we did win it. Uh, I did really like the feel of some players: Cesar Young, Lucas Moura, and Lo Celso. Lo Celso feels fantastic. But yeah, what I'm going to do is this is coming out on the Wednesday. So whenever you're watching this, it came out Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to have the Tottenham vs Southampton preview. Friday. We will have Premier League predictions, Saturday Champions League predictions, and Sunday we will have a Bayern Munich preview. 
that might come out on Saturday because it's a big game actually. So on Sunday the next episode will come out. So if you do want more, hopefully after the um, patch we have the kits. So I'm going to upload this and then there will be a new career save with hopefully the new stuff. So I'm not going to do anything. Everything will be the same unless it carries on over to this. But if not, there will be a new save. So it might be an altered manager. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did like it, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.